Hey everyone, it's Benicia, your Community Outreach Specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office, and today I am bringing you the pleasure of seeing Corporal Ziegler again, who is also known as Officer Friendly, and I'm going to be showing you the program that she created, and I believe it's called Teach Me to Fish, basically from like the eyes or words of a kid, and it's basically where she found a solution to the fact that kids during the school year, they get free breakfast and free lunch. Oh, you're good. Come on through. Come on through. Kids during the school year, they get free breakfast and free lunch, and then once summer comes around, how do you combat that? So she found a way, and that's what this program is, and she feeds these kids five days a week, I believe, during dinner, but I'm gonna have her on camera. She's gonna confirm some things, but it's basically incredible, so like, let's get to it. I just wanna go ahead and preface and say that I am not helping cook in any way, um, so that is why you don't see me with any gloves, because I couldn't, function all of this if I did so that's also why my hair is down I'm not gonna be in here for very long Are you guys excited to eat later? Yeah! yeah. 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 You're tomatoes! They're not tomatoes, they're definitely bell peppers. And we're making salsa. Salsa. You want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, I'm Karina. Karina? What do you do? How do you help out Officer Friendly, Corporal Ziegler? Well, sometimes I help her, like, cut things or, like, help her make things. Mm-hmm. What was, what's been your, so we're in week three of this program. Today is July 1st, so that all of you have a date reference of when I'm filming this. And it's week three. What's been your favorite thing? I want to, I'm gonna stand on this side. Yeah. What's been your favorite thing that you have made so far? Oh, my watermelon lemonade. You made watermelon lemonade? Wait, do you have any? Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm gonna believe that it tasted absolutely incredible. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah? How did you get picked to help out in the kitchen? I asked. Oh, boom, simple. Like that, guys. I say there's never a dumb question. I use that loosely, but basically if you want something, you ask, right? The worst they can say is no. You wanna come in too? You don't wanna come in? That's fine. <laughs> that's Jocelyn. Jocelyn's helping out too. They look like twins, but they're not twins. I got you. There you go. Boom, that's Jocelyn. That's who Karina wants to say hey. Boom. And that's it. Karina has left the building, so we're gonna go find Corporal Ziegler. Tell us about Teach Me to Fish. Okay, so what happened is that I work out of the Boys and Girls Club in La Cucci. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the poorest communities yeah. in the state of Florida. With that, we noticed that there was a need for the children to have warm meals every day. Especially during the summer. Especially during the summer. Unfortunately, our funding to the Boys and Girls Club was removed. Or cut. Yes, we don't make those decisions, sadly. So, with that, the school board stepped in and they provide breakfast and lunch. But there was still that need for dinner. dinner. So what happens is that because of the needs of the community, the families provide as much as they can mm -hmm. with what little means they have. Exactly. And so organizations like the schools and the churches and other nonprofits come together to meet those needs. Mm -hmm. But in the summer, yes. yeah, it kind of goes down. Yeah. So the Boys and Girls Club, which is here, has always met those needs. However, with the cuts that were made, um, the fear was that those needs were not going to be met. Exactly. Hence, we were going to send kids home hungry, hungry. Yeah. which brings a slew of issues. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> what? You didn't, I didn't know what it was. I what we wanted to do was to teach the youth how to be the next generation. Okay, I love that. 
So we're not only we're not only feeding their tummies, feeding the we're feeding the mind, we're feeding their spirit. You're nourishing we're, them. We're pushing them forward to be forward thinkers. I love that. And to participate and have a voice. So no meal has been prepared without the input of one of the kids here. Um, by by engaging them, they participate, they learn. I feel like they feel included, therefore they're more apt to help and want to help. Correct. So it doesn't even take that long and you're feeding like at least 80 to 100 kids, not including staff, family, siblings. You are incredible. Well, no, it's it's the village. So literally we have kids in the kitchen. Take the compliment because without Corporal Ziegler, who well, would have had crazy, this idea? My I mean, crazy idea. Exactly. To actually push it through. Because I mean, I'm sure someone out there, probably someone else has thought about that, but who actually put forth the effort to make it happen? So it is, this it, one. in all honesty, it is a lot of work. Work, 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 work. A lot of commitment. Um, I came in the other day um, sick mm -hmm. to make sure that the kids got had food. Had food. Mm -hmm. um, but it is the team that puts it together. So with the help of Ashley and Nick mm -hmm. and Art exactly. and Brian. You guys know them by other names. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so everybody puts forth the effort and ultimately what we're trying to do is make sure that the kids know that their environment doesn't defend the future. Exactly. What are you guys making? Who can tell me? <gasps> wow. A crown. Crown? What are you guys making crowns for? July. For the 4th of July? Let me see your crowns. Let me see them. Hold them out. I turned my crown into one of those things that have to raise. I love I'm all eight. of your crowns. Let me, your crowns. Let me see yours. Yours is incredible too. It got me the best salsa ever. Best salsa ever? Yeah. Love it. Okay, so I do just want to go ahead on behalf of everyone, give a special shout out to Feeding Tampa Bay and Catholic Charities who did provide all of the fresh produce because this is the third week of this program but two weeks ago over the weekend there was actually a power outage due to a lightning storm so they lost an entire freezer's worth of food of meats and everything and all of the groceries and the produce and everything so Feeding Tampa Bay and Catholic Charities came through and they replenished a, a lot of chicken and a lot of produce. So those are the tomatoes and bell peppers that are you seeing today for today's salsa to go along with everything else. So you guys are incredible. If any of you are part of that organization, thank you. Keep doing what you do. What's the verdict? Is it good? Yeah. There. I'm recording now. There you guys go. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to her. Can you guys see yourself? You guys can scoot over. You guys can scoot over. There you go. There you guys go. There you go. I'm trying it. Oh yeah, let me try it now. Let me try it. We gotta try some more salsa. Another spoonful. Y'all, that's so good. What did you? What did you? I was like, that is what you asked. Woo! It's so good. I can't cook. My man cooks for me. Oh. Okay, Karina, it's your show. What we did? Added tomatoes. Mhm. Mm bell peppers. Bell peppers. Okay. And whatever this is. Complete seasoning. Uh huh. And then salt. Salt. And then garlic powder. Garlic powder. And then we added lime. Lime. They also then, added lemon. Yeah, lemon. Cilantro. And onions. And onions. And we we uh blended it in mm -hmm. in this thingy. Mm -hmm. And we grabbed a spoon. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Annalise. Annalise? What do you want to say to the people? What do you want to say to all of our followers? I don't know. You don't know? You 
don't know. Mm, did you just make an incredible crown? What's your, ooh, tell all of them to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, and you heard it right here from Annalise. So if you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you guys next time.